So to prepare kids for the high school level, Mark started coaching down at the youth program as well. So he now brings some of his philosophy as an actual coach to the kids down there. Uh, the youth program now runs uh, some of our offense. They run some of our defense. Uh, they do a lot of similar things that we do. And I think that that really helps when the kids get here, they already have a little bit of taste of what they expect. It's been a big advantage to us that the youth program has bought in to what we're doing here at the high school. In that period of time, and before I became athletic director, I was a, a football coach with the program. Uh, we've won seven state championships, six in a row back in the um, mid-90s when the team went on a, an undefeated uh, streak of 49 games, which is a state record now. Um, number, it was a great era, number one in Connecticut, uh, number one in New England, top 25 in the nation uh, during that period of time. Steve Trafone, Athletic Director at Cheshire High School. So to prepare kids for the high school level is really understanding that it, it, it's a contact sport, or some people say it's a collision sport, um, and there are going to be hits in there, but you're not getting hurt, you're bouncing back up and you're getting back into the huddle, continue to move on. Uh, like any youth sport, there's that concept of dedication and commitment. You have to be at practice. You have to be at practice at the right time. You have to commit yourself to those days of practice. As they get closer to the high school, those practice times increase. There's more of them from when you first started to when you end youth. It's a different practice schedule. So you're getting ready for high school sports. The good thing about when, when your football team is good, the rest of your sports in the school rise with it. High school sports to me, I think, are just so important to adolescents. Uh, there are so many lessons that can be taught from that other than the wins and losses. Let's take the wins and losses out of it. Let's take the, the daily practices that go on and, and what takes place with kids. The lessons that are learned there cannot be taught in a classroom. It's just not structured for it. Uh, so kids in sports learn a lot. Kids in football, football is called the game of life because of the structure for what it is. There's so many things that kids learn in football that they may not pick up in another sport. Not that other sports don't teach lessons, but that uniqueness of one time a week, win or lose, what happens for the rest of the six days, I think is unique to football.